Uh, let's polish this bad boy off with a couple of uh, hitters. Let's kind of group these teams, these two guys together since they are on the same team. It's Derek Dietrich and Josh Van Meter, like two of the most German names uh, that you can imagine on the same team, <laughs> kind of fighting for the same playing time. So we've got Derek Dietrich, yeah, with uh, yeah. Nine, nine home runs. Oh, yeah. And Josh Van Meter, um, which, I mean, the Van Meter, that's something that... <laughs> <laughs> how does that not exist on this podcast right now? Well, it is it does now. I sure am going to figure <laughs> out how to incorporate that into the show. Okay, so uh, before he was called up recently, he had an insane 13 home runs over 30 games at AAA, hitting 323. Um, so, Ron, uh, what are you doing with these guys? What's your level of interest in Derek Dietrich and Josh Van Mita? Well, I'd like to point out that Josh Van Meter is walking 33.3% of the time in the majors, and I definitely expect that to, <laughs> to keep up. He's going to do that all year, has not struck out once, uh, but that is, he also has three plate appearances. So uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it just seems to me like this is awfully kind – of, this is kind of a crowded place. Now, I will say I think I have a little bit more interest in – Derek Dieter is kind of a guy that – he was a sneaky ad for me in a couple of deep leagues when he was with the Marlins, um, especially when – Stanton went out uh, with, with the Marlins that season and, and you know, just with it, injuries, he would play and he'd get a ton of playing time and he'd come in and he would just kind of be a guy that would kind of keep you afloat for a while, give you an okay average, okay OBP, maybe get you double-digit home runs, uh, doesn't steal any bases. But I have a little bit more faith in him because he's shown a couple of games where uh, he, he's, he's got a two-homer game, uh, shown a little bit of pop there. They, they did get rid of Matt Kemp, which kind of – clears things up a little bit so i'm probably a little more optimistic on him just because i know uh his track record a little bit he's hitting 257 361 obp so far um kind of around what you would expect from him uh and not to say that i don't think that van meter could be useful i just don't see his path to playing time being as clear um as as we see with with Derek dietrich the thing i like about Derek dietrich in fantasy too is he's eligible quite a few places um i haven't seen uh, let's see, where has Van Meter played most, spent most of his time playing out? I see he's eligible at second and third. Yeah, they kind of, he's been one of those guys without a defensive home. They just kind of shift all yeah. over the place. And so, I, I mean, like I said, he's, he, I'm a little less confident in the fact that he's going to get enough at bats to justify adding him. And I also don't think that the 13 homers that he's hitting is going to be indicative of what he's going to do in the majors, considering before this 13, his career high was 12 in high A. So I guess of the two, I'm way more interested in uh, Derek Dietrich right now. Van Meter was a bit more of a hit tool kind of prospect. Didn't have a whole lot of power, didn't have a whole lot of speed, wasn't all that great defensively. And I think that's really just kind of what you're going to get out of this. If he gets any playing time at all, maybe he'll help you in batting average. I don't trust this huge surge in power. I guess I kind of do because power's up everywhere. Like Tommy Listella is hitting home runs like crazy. So that's just a, a pro byproduct of the ball this day and age. Everyone's going to hit home runs. But I also think that there are probably other guys who are going to hit home runs and give you other stuff. So on, on the van meter, van meter <laughs> is, I'd say, on a scale of gold star to check plus, van <laughs> meter is probably two thumbs sideways. If that, if that <laughs> makes sense. I don't know if I can make that any clearer on the fan meter. Uh, Dietrich, uh, I kind of like him. I think he's feasible. I don't think you really want to have to rely on him, but I think he's a guy that as soon as you have an injury, if he's out there on the wire. If you've got him on your bench, plug him in your team whilst your, your star is on the 10-day DL, IL, and maybe he'll get you some decent numbers. Again, powers up across the board, so those nine home runs and 83 plate appearances – Probably isn't legit, but it's also probably closer to legit than it ever has been in the past because he always has had a little bit of power and could hit 250 to 260. So I think what he's doing is perfectly fine. I don't know if he's really going to walk this much. Maybe he's a 330, 340 OBP guy as opposed to 360, and that slugging percentage will come down, but there's still power in the tank. So I, li I like Dietrich. He's a little bit higher on the van meter. Uh, that it's it really reminded me of Futurama, like the the space guy with no pants, uh, the captain or whatever. Oh, um, um, uh, why am I blinking on his name? He talks like a Zap Brannigan reporting. Yeah. Gif, alert the women. I've <laughs> made it with a woman. There was one episode in particular uh, where he couldn't make up his mind. He was like, go to beige alert. And uh, <laughs> all I know is my heart says maybe. Um, so that's <laughs> 
kind of how I felt about uh, that's that's where Josh Van Meter would fall on the Van Meter. Um, yeah, I, I think that it's really similar profiles here, and I would definitely give the nod to Dietrich as Van Meter has plenty of options remaining. I don't know if he's going to stick around because they did get rid of Matt Kemp, but then they just brought up Nick Senzel. So uh, it's still still a surprising amount of mouths to feed on that roster. And uh, you got to respect what Derek Dietrich is doing so far. He's uh, going to have you some position eligibility, and he's really barreling up the ball very well, uh, sitting at 37th right now on the barrels per plate appearance leaderboard over at uh, Baseball Savant. So. Uh, I, th- I think you have to, you know, at least in deep leagues, I think that he is a very uh, useful player to uh, pick up and kind of move all over the place. But um, life is meaningless. We all hurtling <laughs> through space on the rock. Who cares? I'm Dirk Dietrich. <laughs> Makes me want to go listen to Rammstein, who have some new music out. Oh, yeah. No way. Oh, love, love Rammsteins. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Also, they're... they're- their Jewish counterpart, Ramstein. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and that's our show, folks. Uh, curtain call from Van Lee there. Uh, anything else?